the 18 form Tai Chi Fan. Names and essentials of the basic movements. Fan grasping method. Regular grasp. Press the bottom of the fan with thumb and forefingers. The other three fingers curve naturally below the forefingers. Upside down grasp. Hold the top of the fan with thumb and forefingers. The bottom of the fan upward the other three fingers under the fourth fingers. Opening fan, regular opening. Hold the fan with the right hand before the body, suddenly twist the wrist and open the fan. Backward opening, hold the fan with the right hand, suddenly twist the wrist, open the fan. Throwing fan methods. Regular throwing. Hold the fan and throw it with the top upward. Grasp the fan's bottom with the right hand when it falls. Backward throwing. Hold the fan and throw it with the bottom upward, grasping the top with right hand when it falls. Hand forms. 
fist. Fingers close loosely, press the second joint of the forefingers and middle fingers with the thumb. Palm. The fingers are slightly bent and apart. The palm slightly curved. Stroke. Two palms fall vertically, circling before the body between the head and the abdomen. Cross. Stick out the palms along the inside of the other arm. Press. Arms form circle and press downward. Cloud. Two arms bend slightly. Palms form an arch across both sides of the body along with a turning of the waist. Stances. Bow stance. Bend front leg with the tip of the foot forward, straightening the hind leg with the foot tipped obliquely and full entry foot on the floor. Horse step. Feet apart with a distance of three times the length of the feet. Half squat with bended knees and full tip straight forward. Empty step. Half squat with one knee bent. Bend the other leg with the heel on the floor. Crouch step. Squat fully with one knee bent. Straighten the other leg close to the floor. Seated step. Cross legs and squat with bent knee. The front foot on the floor. Foot tips out toward the sole and the hind foot sits on the floor with the knees close to the outside of the front calf. Buttock sits on the hind calf. T-step. Half squat with supporting foot entirely on the floor. The side of the other foot is against the supporting foot with the sole on the floor. Back cross leg step. Cross the legs with entire front foot on the floor. Straighten the hind leg with the sole of the foot on the floor. One leg standing step. Straighten the supporting leg and lift the other leg with a bent knee. Footwork. Forward. Move one step forward with the heel of the foot first on the floor. Then transfer the weight forward with the entire foot on the floor. Backward steps. Move one step backward with the sole of the foot, then transfer the weight backwards to the entire foot. Side step. Move one step sideways with sole of the foot first, then transfer the weight with entire foot on the floor, bringing the other leg and the supporting legs together. Cross step. Move one foot sideways before the other, crossing the legs. Eighteen form Tai Chi Fan. Performing the whole set. Essentials of the separate movements. Movement one. Starting form. Hold the bottom of the fan with the right hand. Relax the whole body naturally. Movement two. Hold the moon in the arms. Keep the fan horizontal before the chest. Turn left palm slightly inward and as high as the shoulders. Wave the hands while opening the fan. Movement three. Willow moves in breeze. Arms are as high as the shoulders, then as low as the abdomen. Dust against wind. The direction is a 45 degree to the left. 
Keep the movement smooth and breathe. Movement five, wave upon waves. Strike with the bottom of the fan. The right wrist is supported by the left hand. Movement six, old man angling. Smooth the whole body while moving backwards. Eyes follow the right hand. Don't lean forward. Keep the buttocks tucked in when cutting downward with the fan before the right knee. Movement seven, split into horse stance. The movement is executed continuously and accordingly and at one breath. Movement eight, turn around and strike the tiger. While turning the body, raise the right arm, split with the fan and open the fan. Movement nine, holy dragon turns head. One hand is before the face, the other is before the abdomen forming arches repeatedly. Raise right arm and open the fan while turning head to the left in a seated position. Movement 10, open fan with legs apart. When opening the fan, turn the left foot 45 degrees keeping the hind leg slightly straight. Movement 11, push the boat along with current. Move the fan before the chest and push the fan horizontally. Movement 12, pluck fan at both sides. Keep the fan close to the body. The fan moves along vertical circles. The body follows the fan. Movement 13, hold the fan in a horse stance. The two arms form a circle before the body. The two arms hold the fan before the abdomen in a horse stance. Movement 14, white crane spreads its wings. Smooth out when rising the body, the fan is above the head. Turn the waist and then drop it before the chest. Eyes follow the fan. Movement 15, wind scatters locust leaves. While turning the body and pushing the fan, straighten the four fingers turning the fan to the back. Body follows the fan, pushing the fan forcefully. Movement 16, spring returns to the land. The upper body leans slightly forward and turns to the right. Movement 17, Cross knees and open the fan. Cross the knees to the right and front, simultaneously opening the fan backwards. Movement 18, the closing form. Throwing out the fan, grasp the top of it with the bottom in the direction of the front, keeping the feet together. Keep the body upright. The two arms drop naturally. Inhale, take a deep breath. 